I fuck, I, I mess with Charleston. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Charleston, you know, say if it wasn't, if it wasn't no Charleston, wouldn't be no me. If it wasn't no me, wouldn't be no Charleston. We been the hottest thing going back. I'm the only nigga can go blow to blow, toe to toe with him, with this mic. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Uh, to answer your question exactly, like you said, this is a must see. This is a must see. This is a must see because this right here, um, is unity. Yeah, that's right. Something that was tore apart the last time this gentleman came. Yeah, that, yeah. Come on, it's it's a must see. Um, as far as people coming back together, it's a must see that somebody can get along. It's a must see that Charleston can see that he could become the person that he really is. See, I I, I fuck I, I mess with Charleston. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Charleston. You know, say if it wasn't if it wasn't no Charleston, wouldn't be no me. If it wasn't no me, wouldn't be no Charleston. We've been the hottest thing going back. I'm the only nigga can go blow to blow toe to toe with him. With this mic, you dig what I'm saying? Verbal assassins like like like, like Big yeah. Melvin. But you know, I, but but I just takes my my energy goes this way. It don't go that way, you know. Uh, he got a role to play. Uh, yesterday I did a live on Charleston. Yes, I did. Shout out to what? Shout out to the white boy. Uh, I did it on eyeball. You know, I talked to eyeball. You know, I don't fuck with eyeball. You know, <laughs> you fuck with eyeball. I don't fuck with eyeball. <clears throat> but I fuck with Charleston. And if y'all do know, Charleston is eyeball. That's what I call it. <laughs> That's yeah, yeah. Y'all catch that in a minute. But um, as far as Charleston being a person, I, you know, um, I can't apologize for nothing. He had to be an old man standing on his own two feet when it come down to Melvin. You know what I'm saying? They got they. I don't know what, but but I know Melvin is. I, I watched Melvin in that interview. As a matter of fact, I turned around and y'all know I don't say nothing to Charleston. But when I seen the interview with Charleston and Melvin and the other guy that was sitting over there, I felt like something had to be said. You know, and I, I threw a blow, you know, which I was wrong. I shot at him. I swung at y'all. I threw a blow at him. You know what I'm saying? Because um, this is a must-see. People need to see that it shouldn't be no that blog after that blog, that rapper after that rapper, that nigga after that nigga. Because it's always, people always complaining about, niggas always talking about killing niggas, killing niggas, killing niggas. As soon as a cop kill one, everybody looking crazy. But it's all right for it's us real. to kill each other. You know what I'm saying? This is a must-see. I wish Melvin, you know, I'm pretty, pretty, pretty dude, you know what I'm saying? Because as long as we talking about getting along, I'm going to be here. Anything else, I'm out of here. Yeah, I get that, it. That's my platform. I'm here to build, not destroy. 100. Good. Yeah, so, as far as me and Charleston, uh, I don't wish no man no ill will. Uh, I understand uh, this entertainment. It's like this with me. You got newspapers where you got certain sections, the sports, <laughs> you got uh, uh, the crossword, the comics, and everybody don't read the same section. Let's go. Yeah. And that's how I look at it. That's why I don't look at social media. So at the end of the day, people need to understand, I put Charleston right. I managed Charleston right from the beginning. Let's go. When he came to California. I got him on the show, so I can name I got a lot of videos. In fact, I was out here February uh, where we did a special, then we was going to do another one. I let him host a lot of Elsa, Alonzo, and all that. But at the end of the day, I am who I am, and you're going to put some respect on that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.